Hey guys, today I'm just bringing you a quick video on the RTX 2080 graphics card and how it is faring in 2023. I'm going to be testing it in a you know a few modern games as well as some old ones just to see how this thing is doing. Um, it's been five years. So can you believe that five years since this thing was released and it is still rocking. It is still got some muscle in it. So not that you complain about there. I actually have this thing in my daily system. I don't play uh, many modern games. So this has plenty of juice for what I do for the games that I play. Uh, we're going to be pairing it with uh, AMD Ryzen 7800X 3D and also 32 gigabytes of DDR5 6200 megahertz at CL32 just to see if the 7800X 3D can allow this thing to stretch its legs. So yeah, we're going to be having a little bit of fun. So I hope you guys stick around. Let's get into it. And here's the RTX 2080 smiling for the camera. I got a Arctic Cooling Freezer 2 420 AIO on the 7800X 3D because this thing is difficult to keep cool just by design. That's just the way AMD decided, AMD decided to go. So yeah, um, yeah, this thing is being kept nice and cool. So okay, let's get into the to the games. Starting with Doom Eternal, the RTX 2080 has no problem running this thing 1440 max settings. The VRAM limitation of 8GB doesn't seem to be an issue here. As you can see, it constantly keeps hitting that limit of 8GB frame buffer. But you know what? Throughout the whole game, and I tested this game for about 30 minutes, I never saw this thing dropping frames to anything unacceptable. It ran pretty smooth which I am happy for. Far Cry 6 unfortunately was a completely different story. The game kept hitting that 8 gigabyte frame buffer and trying to go above it. Uh, as you can see here, dropping frames really bad. And this is nothing. There were at times in the game when I was playing that it just became unplayable everything dropped to eight frames per second and I had to restart the game to be able to to run it and uh, I also had to drop the quality settings to medium because it's just it was just too much for the RTX 2080 unfortunately but yeah that's all I can say about this this one here God of War is a beautiful game Graphically speaking, uh, the RTX 2080 had no issue running this game at full graphics settings at 1440. Um, it actually played very smooth, butter smooth if I might say, um, and I enjoyed it very much. So yeah, I think that the the RTX 2080, man, I'm telling you, it still has some, some life left, left in it. Um, as you can see here, look at the gameplay no drops and it was like this for about I played it for about an hour actually and frame rate consistent no issues whatsoever Grand Theft Auto is an oldie so there's no question the RTX 2080 had no issue playing this game buttery smooth uh, averaging 103 FPS uh, at times dipping into the low 60s but there's nothing major this thing played again buttery smooth and you can actually crank up the settings uh, if you want to in the advanced menu i ran the advanced graphics settings here off but everything was maxed out as far as uh, as far as you can take it lastly horizon zero dawn this game is so beautiful man the graphics are amazing on uh, the RTX 2080, the graphics card had no issue playing this game. There were times where the FPS dropped to uh, in the low 40s, but rarely did, did, did I experience that. Um, most of the time, I say 99% of the time, it was buttery smooth. Uh, no issues whatsoever, nothing to complain about. The RTX 2080 performed like a champ in this game, so I'm very happy to, uh, very, ha very happy to report that. So yeah, it's, it's still got muscle in 2023. 
All right, guys, that's all I have for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed creating it for you. If you did enjoy it, please hit the thumbs up, you know, comment. If you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to respond. I always try to do my best to respond to every question or comment in the comment section. I want to just take the time to thank all of you for supporting my channel and for putting up with all my stutterings and my poor English. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. You take care. Bye-bye now.